Hello, my name is Robert Cosera. I am a researcher at Tableau Software, and I work on data presentation and data storytelling. Now, that's an unusual thing to do in, for a visualization tool or for a visualization company, because most data visualization today is actually used for data analysis and not for presentation. When you look back at the early examples of data visualization or, or data graphics, perhaps, visualizations and visual representations of data, those were actually used much more for presentation than for analysis. Like the early work that uh, Charles Minard did, uh, Florence Nightingale, William Playfair and others, John Snow as well, his famous map, was actually one that, that, that was made to convince people that there was an issue that he had found based on, on the data that he had co collected. And it turns out that today, presentation is still a big pain point for people. It's actually hard to present your findings because you have to basically take your, your views from your analysis, turn them into pictures, put them into a presentation program, and then use that to present. But that way, of course, you lose a lot of the interactivity. You have to pick your views beforehand. You can't respond to questions as easily and so on. So we've actually been thinking about how to make this, this process smoother and how to make that more effective and more efficient. And one of the things that we are doing at Tableau right now is we are working on a new feature that is called Story Points which is coming out with Tableau 8.2 in early 2014. And that will make it possible for you to annotate and to capture individual states of your visualizations and of your dashboards. And that way, then use those to either guide somebody through a, a workbook that you sent to them. So this is kind of the, the scenario where you're not there, but you want somebody else to understand what you've been doing. Or you can also use it yourself to present in front of an audience or in front of your peers in a meeting to prepare your points, but still be able to drill into the data and show people or, or respond to questions and show people things that they might be interested in as well. And I want to show you what this looks like in a brief demo right now. Tableau is a visualization tool that lets you build views from your data. And then those views can be combined into something that we call dashboards, where you can have multiple views and you can have filters and legends and so on. And now we're adding the ability to build stories out of those dashboards and out of those views. So what you see here is essentially a dashboard. And then at the top here, we have the parts that, that make up the story or the parts that are added for stories. In particular, the title, which of course you can change. And there is the uh, navigator here that contains captions for each of the points that I will, that I will want to make. I've already captured a number of those. Uh, and in this case, what we're looking at here, the data, is data that was released by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid in April 2013. And it describes the costs or the amounts of money that different hospitals are charging Medicare and Medicaid for different kinds of procedures. And there are about 3,300 hospitals in here and about 100 different kinds of treatments. I've picked out a few of those. So these are different kinds of treatments or of problems. And each bubble here is one hospital. And the x-axis here represents cost or average cost. And you can see that for this particular problem, for this particular treatment, there's a range from about $9,000 to about $70,000. There's a factor of about seven between those. And this is my first insight, my first finding, which I have captured here as my first point. Now, perhaps I want to also look at a map and I want to see what whether different states are different here when we're looking at spread. Again, this is the difference between the highest and the lowest cost. And it turns out that there is, of course, a large range in general, but there's actually a big outlier here, which is California. So that, that is interesting. And that was my second insight here that I've captured here as well. I also know that there are local effects. Looking at San Francisco here, uh, I've picked out two hospitals that charge about, well, one charges about twice or more than twice uh, than the other, and they're only about two miles apart. So it's another insight that I have captured here that I found interesting. And finally, let's look at the East Coast. This is New York or the New York area. This is Manhattan here. And I can see that there are these different colors. Color here represents costs that also vary quite a bit. So I could now start to look at what the actual values are here, because this is, of course, interactive. I could select some of these, like these two here. And there's a factor, again, of more than two. And because I've made a change to my existing story point, Tableau has now built or created a new point for me, and I can give it a caption. That's, I'm just going to call it New York. And now I can hit this button here. This is called the Capture button. That now captures that change. 
and now I can go back to the previous one. This is the way it looked before, and this is the change I just made. And so this way I can very easily add new points and then can use this to either send it to somebody or uh, use it in the presentation. And this goes a little bit beyond what we talked about in the paper because the paper was not talking about the, the difference between a story as a narrative and the story in the sense of, an, or maybe a collection of insights, which is what we're, what we're after here as well. So we're trying to make it easy for people to create these stories, even if they don't have a very strong arc to them, but are simply collections of insights that somebody wants to communicate to somebody else. So communication of data is a very important part of data visualization in practice because people need to communicate their findings and need to discuss what they have found with their peers and with the superiors. And it's very interesting to see that there's now a trend towards more, more support for this kind of work in a lot of, of tools. And it will be very, very interesting and very exciting to watch this, this field move into this new direction and, and develop new tools and new ways of working with data that have to do more with presentation than with analysis.